Okay, we all know that crypto is crashing, but that doesn't mean we need to be losing money because of it as well. Now, I've gotten this question a hundred times by now, and that is, how can you make money in crypto while in a bear market? So in today's video, I'm gonna share not one, not two, not three, but five ways you guys can make money while everybody else is losing it. Now, I'm gonna be sharing everything I know, so make sure you guys watch the whole video through because there's gonna be some things that I promise you, you've never heard before. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. My name is Forrest and I make videos all about crypto and how you can become smarter and richer with it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first option is to short crypto. Now, this is something I talked about in my last video, but I'm gonna go a little deeper and talk about the different ways you guys can do this to make the most amount of money now shorting crypto is basically believing the price of the coin will go down and if it does you make money so let's say the price of bitcoin is ten thousand you want it to go down to like nine or eight thousand that way you make more money and with the current market condition that we're in right now with the bear market and the downward trend shorting is a really good idea to make some decent money and hedge the losses against your holding portfolio now i know this falls into trading a bit and i know a lot of you guys aren't the best at it or you just never had any good luck with it but don't worry because I have two solid options for you. The first is something called copy trading. Now, copy trading is pretty much copying other successful traders' trades. Basically, what that means is successful traders share their trades with the public and you can come in and copy exactly the trades they make. Now, there are platforms out there like eToro. Now, I've never used them before, but I know a lot of people that do, but you can see other people's trades history, how successful their trades are, their holdings. You can just see a whole bunch of stuff about their portfolio. So you can go and follow these trades traders and whenever they share a trade, you can do the same exact thing and copy their trades with your own money, which takes away a lot of the guessing and learning on your part because you're trusting someone else who's devoted their whole life to trading and is pretty much an expert on it. Now, you can also take this a step further and I don't know if eToro allows this, but I know some places do where you can connect your exchange's API. So the exchange you use to trade to a platform like eToro's and whenever the person you follow makes a trade, it'll trigger an event and it'll automatically in the same time make the same trade in your exchange account now don't worry from what i know no one has access to your funds and your money everything is done through this api key but just double check everything on the platform that you end up using now i'm not saying copy trading is for everyone but if you're not good at it and trading is something you want to get into this is not a bad idea now on the other hand if you want to learn to trade yourself and you want to do this on your own you can actually just follow signals that tell you exactly when to buy or sell now you can use a service like lux algo now this is something that i've been using for almost two years and a half now and i've talked about them plenty of times in my previous videos but what they do is they tell you exactly when to buy and sell any given asset the algorithm attaches to your trading view chart and it predicts which way the market will go so it'll give you either a buy or sell signal based on a whole bunch of indicators that it follows now obviously it can't predict major crashes or news events but for everyday traders it works really well and i've been using it myself for years and there's no delay whatsoever everything happens in real time but for those of you that are into trading or you just want to level it up using Lux Algo would be a solid addition. So if you guys are interested or any of you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below on how to add this to your own charts. All right, the next option you have is something called play to earn games. Now, this is something newer in the crypto space. I mean, it's not that new, but I'm seeing a lot of people making some pretty good money just by playing these games. And the best part is it has no direct relationship to how the market does. It's like a whole ecosystem built into this game. Now, the concept behind these play to earn games is pretty simple. Players collect or earn crypto by participating and playing in these blockchain based games and then these players can go out and sell the crypto or whatever tokens they earn from the game in the game's marketplace and sell that for real money it's honestly a lot easier than you think to start there are already tons of games already out there and new ones being released every single day and they actually look pretty fun some of the games that are already out there that are really big right now are axie infinity sandbox crypto kitties decentralands and tons of other ones now i know this option isn't for everyone but if you have some extra time or you just like to play games or just want to make some extra money i really suggest looking into these play to earn games and like i said the best part is you can earn and make money regardless of how the market is doing okay the next option you have to make money in a bear market is to participate in what is known as a fork or an airdrop now i know many of you probably don't know what that is or how you can participate in it so let me explain you can think of both of them so a fork and an airdrop as just receiving a bonus for holding a specific token now a fork is pretty much when users vote to diverge or change the 
blockchain from one network to another. A good example of this is Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin was the original coin, but it had a fork, or I would say a lot of forks by now, but it pretty much means a whole new blockchain was made from it, which in this case was called Bitcoin Cash. Now, because it was a fork of the original Bitcoin, users who held Bitcoin at the time of the fork got this new coin as well. It's like a snapshot taken the second the fork happens and all the wallets in the world that held Bitcoin got an equivalent amount of this new coin or Bitcoin Cash as well, which in this case was a one to one ratio. So if you had one Bitcoin, you got one Bitcoin Cash, which at its peak was worth almost $4,000. So if you can find these coins that are having forks and hold them, you can make some pretty good money. Now to see where you can find these upcoming forks and how to participate in them, there's a website out there called airdrops.io that has all the information on all the upcoming forks. Now I know this is a unique way that a lot of people don't talk about anymore, but it's pretty much like making free money. And the other option, which is airdrops, is very similar to forking, but a little different in the sense that now you don't get a new coin for holding something. You get a bonus of the same coin. So for example, if we use the Bitcoin example that we used earlier, instead of getting Bitcoin cash as we did in the fork, you'd get a bonus of more Bitcoin in your wallet. Now you see this a lot with new crypto projects. They tell people, you know, if you hold their coins, they'll drop airdrops in your wallet. It's basically their way of getting more people to interact with their coins. A really big airdrop that happened a while back was Uniswap's airdrop, which I luckily was a part of. I used their platform here and there at the time, and I, I had no clue they were even doing an airdrop. I, I actually think it was a surprise, but they airdropped 400 uni tokens to anyone who just made a transaction with them. And at the height of Uniswap's price, it was worth almost $16,000. So you can get real lucky with these airdrops. Now to see upcoming airdrops, you can use the same website, airdrops.io. They share all the information on upcoming airdrops and how much you can be getting and what you need to do to be eligible. There's also something out there called bounties where these new crypto projects will pay you for completing certain tasks such as promoting their project on social media, finding glitches in their system, holding a certain amount of a token, just a whole bunch of stuff you can do to get rewarded. But overall, airdrops or forks are honestly a great way to make some extra money because there are tons of new crypto projects releasing every single day and all you have to do is take the rewards and sell them and just rinse and repeat every single time. Also, if you didn't know, you can actually see if you were eligible for an airdrop in the past, but you just never claimed it, which actually does happen a lot and it happened to me once before. Now, this only works for ERC20 tokens, but you have to go to a website called ethplore.io and you can just paste your Ethereum address and it'll share all the coins you have connected to that wallet and who knows, maybe you might just get lucky. The next option is basic and we've probably all heard it before, but it's still a great opportunity to make some good money while the markets are crashing and that's by staking your crypto. Now, I'm not gonna go too in depth into this as I assume a lot of you guys already know what this is. It basically means earning rewards for holding a coin and each coin has its own rewards, but it can range anywhere from like three to 15%, maybe even go up to 30% per year on your money, which is not bad if you ask me. Now, I know a lot of people are skeptical about staking so I, I suggest thinking of it this way. If you're holding a coin and you don't plan on selling it for a long period of time and you really believe in that coin, why not just stake it to earn more of those coins? I mean, I don't understand why people wouldn't. Now, I get it. If it's a coin you don't really believe in, then yeah. But if it's something you believe in and you aren't going to sell for a while, why not just stake it? You can think of it like passive income, but by you holding the coin and staking, you're providing help to the coin's blockchain. And in return, they pay you a percentage back. And with staking, it's pretty much guaranteed. There's no risk involved unless you're staking a not so stable coin. But for the most part, if you're staking these big coins like um, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, you, you'll honestly be fine. But just be careful where you stake them or any other coin in general. We've seen firsthand what happens with these exchanges when you put your money on them. So just make sure you have access to your own private keys. Even if it means you're getting a lower return, so be it, but at least you know your money is safe. And finally, the last option you have, which I would say is the most riskiest, but you have the opportunity to make a lot of money regardless of how the market is doing, and that's by yield farming. Now, you can think of yield farming like like staking, but on steroids, because you can make thousands, if not millions of percentage returns. Now, there are two main ways you can make money from yield farming. The first is to provide liquidity to a liquidity pool. This means a decentralized exchange like Uniswap or PancakeSwap uses your liquidity, basically using your coins to allow others to trade or borrow crypto. So basically, when you provide liquidity, it allows people to swap their crypto because these exchanges need liquidity to do that. And by you providing it, you'll get rewarded for it. 
it. So if you think about exchanges, for example, like Uniswap, they're just the middleman. They need help from people, and that's where yield farmers come in. In exchange for giving Uniswap our tokens so that people who want to swap coins can do so, they reward us with a percentage of the trading fees that they generate. Now, on top of the percentage you're getting from the trading fees by providing liquidity, you'll also be able to earn the native token of that exchange as well as incentive, which is known as liquidity mining. So with yield farming, you're getting paid in two ways. One is the percentage of the trading fees, which is paid to you in whichever blockchain you're using. So usually ETH if you're on Uniswap or BNB if you're on PancakeSwap. And then on top of all that, you're getting paid out in what you can think of as like being a dividend from the exchange for doing all this for them. Now, this is a super rundown version of what yield farming is. And hopefully I, I explained it well. I, I don't think I did because yield farming is also very confusing to me because it can get very technical. But you can find yield farms that promise insane returns, like millions of percent APY, but you'll notice that they have extremely low liquidity. These are generally newer farms that need liquidity to survive and are willing to pay these insane APYs. But with that comes a lot higher risk of you losing all your money. Now, there are a lot of platforms out there that allow you to yield farms such as Uniswap, uh, SushiSwap, Aave, Curve Finance. But just know if you do plan to go this route, you can make some decent returns because if we disregard the crazy outliers that offer insane returns, you can farm coins and get like 30 to 50% APY. Again, just do your research beforehand as it is very complicated, but if you can figure it out, it's not a bad way to make some passive income. But that was it. These were my five ways you can make money in a crypto bear market. You have the safe options and you have some pretty risky options as well. You just have to see what works best for you. And remember, I have to say this, none of what I said is financial advice. It's all just my opinions. But other than that, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Remember, make sure you guys subscribe for more weekly crypto updates. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.